Hi there, my fellow Java programmer. This episode is part three of the Mastering Java 8 stream series, and you'll learn everything about the find methods like find any or find first, and also how to ask simple questions on streams, simple yes or no questions with the help of the match methods. Let's find out what that means. So go back to the POTUS test class from last episode, and then create a new test method, call it find and match, because these are the two things you're going to learn in this episode, then copy the trump line from up here. Again, you want to get the first element out of the president list, which is trump. And in this episode, we're going to work on trump's wife, so call trump.getWives and turn the list into a stream, like so. And then finally, you want to write find, and you'll see two suggestions. The first one is find any, and then there's find first. You want to go with find first this time, and then extract the whole thing to a variable and call it first wife. Also, let's print out the first wife to the console like so. Great, so what's going on here? As you can see, find first returns an optional. So if the stream, or in this case the list, is empty, you'll get an empty optional back. And otherwise, you'll simply get the first element of the list of the stream back, which is a wife wrapped inside an optional. Let's run the test to see what happens. And in the console, you can see you get first wife equals Melania, children, Baron. And if you scroll up to the list, wife of Donald Trump, and you can see, yes, it's the first element. Now, using find first like so doesn't make too much sense. You could have simply called get zero on the list as well. But most of the time, and let me just rearrange the code a little bit to make it easier to read, you want to combine find first with a filter predicate. Please only include those wives in the stream which have more than two children. So you would call wife get children size greater than two, and then call find first on the resulting stream. Now run the test again. And this time you'll see Ivana in the console printed out with her three children. And if you scroll up again, you can see that's right. Ivana is actually the only wife which has more than two children. Good, now a last thing. Why, what is the difference between find first and find any? Find first basically always guarantees you to return the first element of the stream. Find any doesn't guarantee you that. It could return you any element of the stream, which with normal streams doesn't make too much sense. But there's also the concept of parallel streams where you turn one stream into multiple substreams and you work on them in parallel, and then the order is not guaranteed. But we're going to talk about parallel streams in a future episode. But the main takeaway is that the find methods always return you an optional with the full object inside. This time it's a wife. And they're useful if you want to work on the object later on in your code. But what happens if you want to ask simply yes or no questions on the stream? And that's where the match methods come in. Imagine you want to ask the question, does every wife have more than two kids? Simple yes or no. Again, you would turn the wives into a stream. And then you would call all match because that will execute a predicate on every wife and only return yes or true if every element in the stream matches the predicate. So you would go, actually, let me just quickly extract that, the wife predicate. So that is the more than, has more than two children predicate. And then I can put it in here, right? And then I print out the, uh, variable to see if it's true or not. That's the first question. Another question would be, let me just simply duplicate these two lines. Another question would be, does any wife have more than two kids? So we're not interested in all the wives, but just any wife. And then you can simply call on the stream, you would call any match, because you don't care about all of the wives matching the predicate anymore. Has more than two children is fine. And then just down here, right, we clean things up a little bit. And the last question to ask is, again, let's duplicate these two lines. Not a single wife has more than two kids. 
It's a bit difficult to reason about, maybe, but you would call none match, and you're simply interested in that not a single wife has more than two kids. These are the three questions, the basic questions you can ask on a stream. So run the test again, and now check out the console. You can see, does every wife have more than two kids is false. And obviously, when you scroll up to the list, you can see that Melania has just one child, Marla one child, Ivana has three children. So that's wrong. Does any wife have more than two kids is true, however. And that's because Ivana has three children. And then the question, not a single wife has more than two kids is also false because Ivana obviously has three kids or more than two kids. And when you scroll back down again, the main takeaway is that with the match methods, you can ask simple yes or no questions, true or false questions. Whereas with the find methods, you'll get the object back and you can work on the object later on. So congratulations, you now know how to use the find methods and the match methods on streams. And before we talk in detail about optionals in Java 8, let's have a quick look at two more methods and it's the reduce method and the peak method. Let's get right after it.